really inviting me into our questionnaire section. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for. So, can you briefly tell us about your early influences? So, uh, as I have talked a lot about this, uh, my journey as a writer and my interview. Kishore, can you put on light? That's not visible. Okay. So okay, 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 I'll do it. I come from a small village in north part of Bihar. So when I was a kid, I was attending the local school in my village. So once my father gifted me a story. So I had always been greedy about the stories. So always uh, pestering my mom, my grandma, my aunts for the stories, new stories. So when he gifted me a book, I, I was not aware that that book existed outside the classroom at that time. I, was, I might be seven or eight years old, so I just wondered if that book was for my next class. And my father explained me, this is a story book, you can read it and enjoy it. So that was my first introduction to linked words as far as the stories are concerned. And so that day itself I told my father, one day I will also write this story. Then what happened in the early 90s, I was still in college, so I discovered that great British author Orwell was born in my hometown. So that also inspired me to think of and made me wonder if I could be a writer. I was studying in Hindi music. Subsequently I learned English and then. Okay, so thank you. Then did you attend any training programs and do you feel that a writer can be trained? I don't think writer can be trained, but uh, you can definitely improve your skills if you go to the, any training or any guidance. So there are many mentorship programs. Uh, I attended a one international workshop run by the University of East India, but by the time I had already finished my work. So, the best thing about this workshop, the training programs are that you get a chance to interact with like-minded people. For example, I met Kishore, Professor Kishore Dhan in that workshop. So you are able to make friends who are like you. So you can exchange notes, you can seek feedback, you can support each other when you get rejection. You have a shoulder on which you can get a cry. <laughs> when you get rejection. So, the best thing was you get a peer group who are also into your kind of activity. So, they can give you the honest feedback and you can exchange notes. So, this is how. But definitely, if you attend some good program, it helps. But if you are not, uh, you, 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 you are no creative bent of mind, then you cannot. You must have interest in the literature, stories. You are, you are a keen observer of the things. You Things look at the, in a different way, impartial way. You are rational. These are the basic qualities, according to me. Then you have to try. Some carpentry, you have to do. You, you know that I want to do that. Basically, you can For example, punctuation, you can master. Grammar you can but the storytelling is which is inbuilt like a singer, like a thing. Then how did your wife accompany you in your literary activity? Actually what happened when I was writing uh, my book so that time initially when I started and I was not ready to submit. But as a twenty one year or twenty two year old, you are full of dreams, full of Enthusiasm. So I wrote a few chapters and I started sending out to the British agents and the publishers. And obviously most of them did not respond and got the books. I was disheartened and then I got a job in the bank. I was posted in a far flung place in Punjab near Pakistan. So I was born sick also because first time I was going out from home time, away from my family. I stopped it. So even I used to write for newspapers and magazines. That also stopped. And then I drifted away from reading a book. 
when I got married in 2002, my wife discovered uh, my manuscript. It was a typical traditional Indian home. We did not even uh, meet before our wedding day. So when she discovered, I used to be a writer. She started in system. Then I started inventing excuses for I got in I had to tell them, and then she, uh, I can write on paper, but I can't write. So she offered that you write on write. So every morning she would say that I am at home, I need something to write. So you just write. So it becomes a kind of routine. And then sometimes, uh, as the wife told me, she starts blackmailing us. We have to write. She gifted me a new laptop. She says, How is that? I was Your audio is not that clear. Hello. Yeah, keep it a bit more closer, mouthpiece. Not clear. Ah, okay. Now it is better. Better? Ah, yes. Okay. Hello. You sure? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, okay. But a little more, bit more closer to your mouth, so that. Uh... Hello, Kishore, your voice is not coming. Kishore? Yes, yes. Uh... Kishore? Yeah, yes, it's okay now. It's okay. okay. So, this is how the wife, my wife, actually was a pillar of strength for me. So, she forced me to finish the So, that is how I was able to. You have always been interested in movies. What is the difference between the story in the novel and the story on the screen? So basically, uh, both have a different medium. So, uh, in fiction writing, you have luxury to express yourself as you want. But in the case of movies, it is a visual medium, so you can't translate everything into the visual medium. So, for example, in the thoughts of a character. You can write pages after pages about the human law or the internal thoughts or the internal journey of the character. But in movies, you can't. You have to show it. So how to translate those thoughts, those feelings into uh, a cinematic experience is a bit of challenge, especially for literary novels, where you have a lot of internal moments. You are talking to yourself, you are thinking of that should be shown. So it becomes a kind of challenge and we have to make changes. We cannot stick with the form. We have to think of a scene, what your eyes is looking at. So visual medium is your eyes and sound. But in case of fiction writing, you can use image. You can use touch, you can use smoke. Okay, then, in general, that be Which social problem in our society would you like to address in your next book? The next book is already done. I talked about the present social political situation in the How the vaccine I don't think of the issues when I write a novel, I just think of the story. But I believe that the stories do not exist in the vacuum. If you are writing a story in the 90s, so whatever is happening in the 90s should be part of it. That should directly or indirectly impact the character. 
for example, go to this one, the kind of flexion moment that was happening in the Kerala in that time, I think we'll catch it. It may not impact the characters directly, but some way it will emotionally it will. Then who are the contemporary writers you admire most? There are so many. These are the writers mostly I follow because uh, I am a South Indian, so my stories are mostly rooted in the local culture. So these writers, at some level, helps me to improve my life and to give my opportunity to learn about it. In an interview given in the Hindu, you said that the book which inspired you was George Orwell's Animal Farm. So can you describe in what ways it shaped you as a writer? Hey, George Orwell's inspiration was in a different I, I don't write, uh, as far as writing is concerned, my writing is more inspired by George Orwell's. He is a different kind of writer. George Orwell's inspiration was that when I wrote in evil form. I realized this guy is from my place. So that book inspired me to become a writer. I don't like him. I like his life. I can read his books and his fiction books. But I don't like him. Have you visited Kerala and what is your opinion about Kerala? Kerala is my second home. So, so many friends. Almost every city. Professor Ashok Ramy, that's my best friend. I have been in Kerala lots of I have been to most of the city, Kuchi, Chitamsha, Kuchi Kuchi. I know a lot of literary people. Another friend, friend is Anis Salim, who is the best writer of Kuchi. So he is also in Kerala. I think Kerala people are very nice people. Malayali food and Malayali literature. I have read in past like Mamakashi and poetry of Sachita Nandandu. So I like and I also love Mamukhi, Mohanla, Prithviraj. So I watch Malayalam whenever I watch it. Now, because of time, we do learn it. I think you can use it. I would like to learn this language. It is a bit difficult. In future, I will certainly learn. Then, did you face any caste discrimination in your life? And is that why you included racism as an element? The caste discrimination is for society. Right? Indian society is actually quite divided on the basis of caste and religious identities. Caste, because I come from a so-called upper caste among the Muslims. So I can't say I faced caste, caste discrimination on the basis of my original identity. Being a Bihari, it is a very bad name, especially if you go to Delhi or Punjab. So they think the Bihari are from another planet. <laughs> so Bihari identity, because of my Bihari identity, I failed a bit. And at times, my Muslim identity actually gets into trouble when I don't get houses in Mumbai or Delhi or UP. So you go to a society and you tell them you are a bank officer, okay, but once you tell your name, there are no, no houses that you, you cannot rent out your house. So this was the basic. Otherwise, there are so many friends, most of sure my friends are non Muslims. We don't think at the personal level there is a problem, but there is a kind of, especially in the north. From Malayali or South Indian people, I did a lot of love, even in Tamil Nadu, uh, Andhra, and Tilanda. Because my book was edited in 
all things are given by my hands. I get a lot of love, a lot of feedback. And in Kannada, it was a bestseller, which is being reprinted. How do you do that? So, so I can't complain. So, but discrimination is part of Indian. We all are discriminated at some point. And can you explain your journey from novelist to a script writer in the context of Veera? So, actually, when Veera happened, I was not a publisher. So, some producer offered me an opportunity because I had been interested in novels since my school days. Initially, I wanted to be an actor. So, then I, I will write or become a contributor. So when I got an opportunity to write this book, so I left it. So I also did a few more projects, but it was just a witness, see the writer. It was self -related. It happened in the Then project would have started when it would be Yes, Deepa, yes, come. Your voice is you Deepa, can you adjust your mic or something? It is not your voice. Deepa, your mic is not audible. Your novel? Uh, put your mouth, ma, ma, the mic piece near to your mouth and talk, otherwise it's not clear. So your novel got rejected many times and what do you, what did you do after each rejection? So rejection is always bad, so whenever uh, you work on something so, for so many years, so it's a very miserable feeling, so you feel bad. Obviously, I used to get upset, but I made sure that for each rejection, I should send my manuscript to three people. So every rejection will make me feel bad, but after a few days, I would send the same manuscript, same query letter to three more people. So I kept trying. So in creative journey, you have to. There is no way. Because thousands of authors are trying to get published and there will be only a few publishers. So on average, a good agent gets 10,000 queries from all over the world and he will sign one or two writers. So that is the success. We so have to keep trying. Go do it and one day you will finish. But then, even at the age of 50, age of 60, many people. Some some people are lucky at the age of 25 or 50. They get an option. You have to keep trying to keep trying. Yes, sir. Why did you select the title partner blue? Initially there were different titles and a different point of time. So I kept in when the final manuscript was ready and was submitted to different publishers and it was getting rejection. So two persons, one was Professor Kushora, it was with us, because your title is not good. Think of something, with regional flavor or something like that. So it was special idea. Then my wife also told me, why not put Patna in this title? Because it is about Patna. So once you put a Patna before him, we easily identify and it will look different from us. If you are looking about a dream or something that can be the generic name. So this title partner books came out of blue. Let's take the history. <laughs> title is very important. You know that? Yeah. Deep. You know that? Your novel have been published in several languages. What elements in the novel appeal to such readership? Pardon? 
think what are the elements in the indian novel that appeal to all these basically, basically they were uh, all over the world uh, middle class or lower middle class as the major chunk of our society so this is the story of a lower middle class guy who dreams big but he does not have resources to to uh, achieve those dreams so this is the story of a struggle of a lower middle class boy and he falls in love with someone who is married and there is a moral dilemma that is it is like him to pursue a woman so this these are the theme in universe the paper seven So that kind of a struggle of an underdog, everyone is. That is why, and if it is set in, it might have to set in some small town in Kerala, and the struggle will be seen. And even in, even in the developed society, like I got feedback from the Egypt and Italy also, they they were also able to identify the problem. And within India, it can be set in any small town in any any small any state. Whether it is Odisha or Kerala or Tamil, a struggle will be seen. You have to have the resources that you have to do. That will give you a lot of things. Yes, sir. And with the translated text, and do you feel that they have rightly translated your original feeling? Pardon? The, the translation, the translation, anything was lost. I don't know exactly. Actually, Malayalam translation is not great. I told by some of my friends, some of the translation are very good. In Hindi, uh, Hindi translation was done by myself. Urdu translation because I can read it all now, and Punjabi translation I can read Punjabi also. Others I don't know, but I have been told by my friends and the writers. Uh, Malayalam translation is good. Tamil translation is very good, and Telugu translation is very very good because Telugu uh, edition was done by someone who himself is a writer, and he had been visiting Bihar for last twenty years. So he is aware of Bihari culture, and uh, he is a writer in Telugu. So instead of translating literally. He has rewritten it, but uh, in Malayalam, I don't know. You read and tell me whether translation is good or not. And in Bangla also translation is not great. I don't know either. I can't read it. In Arabic, translation is better because the lady is a Indo-Fine and she is fond of India, so she is visiting India. So she did a good job. And other languages related to the region, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Telugu, and Sindhi, yes, and Persian. So it depends. If translators are doing the literal translation, then it becomes a problem. So we have to, and translating from one Indian language to another Indian language is not a big problem. Because conceptually we are almost not the same. Our modern values are always so different. When we translate into some German or French, then it becomes how to find the equivalent of two Hindi languages. It is beyond your control. Actually, if it goes out and someone is translating, it is all totally different. It is totally different to your position. अदर्स कैन आस आर्या आर्या शाह जी को हेड So, Patna appears to be a character in the novel. How far has Patna been portrayed in novel written in English? Uh, there are a few novels, uh, not much, but there are a few novels that have been more than much. I think this is the first novel in English. 
in other languages here in hindi you will find it in english i don't think uh, before me we will have come that much of emphasis on it except siddhanta his books always have pertained to me but siddhanta did it also for the he became the partner of the Patna Manual of Style and Days for the Dilata books. Patna comes up this in the book, but these books are partly set in Patna, partly in Patna. But my book is mostly set in Patna, Patna or the Swami. Initially, I thought of writing as a Patna as a narrator, Patna like a character of the book. And I rejected that idea, but still, Patna is everywhere in the book. You get the feel of its culture, its uh, historical territories. So, Patna, in one sense, you are right, Patna is one of the characters. Yes. Being in Patna uh, makes a difference to us. In the opening parts itself, Arif is attracted to an elderly woman, that to a Hindu woman. Was it done deliberately to attract controversy? No, no, it was not deliberately to attract controversy. Actually, I was making Anna Kirinina, so I thought of uh, to create something. But when you are writing a story, a simple story where there is no conflict, that if a 20 years boy falls in love with a female girl and both are from the same class, same religion, same thing. Then no conflict will arise. So, only those stories are interesting where there is some conflict. Maybe class, maybe caste, maybe religion, maybe language. So, it just happens. What techniques are used by you as a writer to get bold of the reader's interest in the first chapter itself? So, the basic technique uh, in the modern fiction writing is that your writing should be action oriented. If you are describing so much, then people will lose interest. So action oriented. Because during the last few years, earlier it used to be the discipline of the people, Dean Austin, DPM, the old masters, they were more, more, more into description, all the details. After the rise of cinema, when cinema and TV becomes a part of it, our span of attention is very less. So we always try to look at the things in the kind of cinema. So you you are more visual oriented. So fiction writing has also seen the transformation during five last five, six years. So it is mostly excellent. So if you are planning to write some novel, so your story start with the action. Some inciting incident. Something is happening there. If somebody is saying this is a house, this is a beautiful flower or something, more people will be interested. But someone is telling you, some car is moving fast, suddenly a person comes in front of the car and then with a screech sound, the car stops, then you are over. Something will happen. Then slowly you give the difference. The guy who comes out of the car is wearing a black shirt with a top. You keep dropping the details. It should be a My novel is also kind of like it starts with the action. The sky is there, and then the Sumitra part of it. He'll sit and he runs to it, and how the protest is happening, and then how he takes her to the hospital. Then the kind of mystery that she suddenly is. So a sense of intrigue and action oriented things are feeling to us. It is a given formula that if you don't engage your readers within first five pages, nowadays you have to engage in the first parallel picture. Because when he picked up a book from the bookshelf, they will not spend much time. He will read the first paragraph or maybe maximum one page. If he does not like, goes back to the bookshelf. So very challenging. Because thousands of books are there and you have to read those readers to pick up your book. 
can we say that your novel is political because it includes many political issues this uh, partly the politics is not core of this core of the story is arif sastra the ending of the session for some and the ideas political is incident because the story is about the times and i told you earlier no stories have been back to obviously the political event for example happening around ali would definitely impact us emotionally physically if some protest is happening in your city you might not be uh, getting impacted at emotionally you have to go somewhere you get indicated it is bandi now city and i can't go emotionally you are doing it and i don't shy away from emotionally many people just think it happened we just go with the love story and so on so forth but i don't even in my second book i don't even more than this kidnapping uh, happens in the novel is kidnapping in bihar is common now kidnapping in what sense okay. there was a time some now it does not happen there was a time there were cases of <coughs> whenever you write a story about a particular incident that doesn't mean that it happens to you it is a particular situation for example if you are reading a novel about a serial killer which is set in america it doesn't mean that in america people are serial killers or people are killers. so this kind of things used to happen in this era set of things probably for that reason but now it does not do that but it was not that it was rampant even within a population of 10 crore in 45 cases and with some media media news now last 10 15 years it has stopped urdu poetry is used in the novel do you think that it helps in narrative and how in basically the characters If you, read, if you read closely, so the main attraction which Arif feels to Vasudeva is not only her beauty, her looks, because the way she speaks, the, the way she writes, and the way she writes. So, Urdu is a kind of connection between both, and their conversation is uh, many times focused on the Urdu. they meet they meet in the school they decide to put the two together and so it is that so are the summer that she used to write to the party and the venture competition the missing level problems and so on so what is the connection between this two and are the two that can be so it was obvious that so and north indian culture is like that if you come to bihar or up to any educated person even he is not Uh, able to read Urdu, he must quote a few couplets in during his cooking. You know, any educated person will quote the poetry, and young girls and boys, especially teenagers, they will have a uh, full stock of Urdu poetry, especially romantic poetry. So they use quoting to each other. So this is a part of the culture in our. 
کہ ویل ویل اینڈ ایڈوکیٹڈ پیپل بھی غالب غالب ہیں کنسیڈر دی گریٹس پورٹ اف ایڈوکیشن تو ایوری ون ول بی ایبل ٹو کوٹ کاجی اقبال دو دو سارے جو ہیں سب سے دیر ار سو مین پورٹس ویچ ار ویری پاپولر ان دی فلم انڈسٹری آف سو پروموٹس کائنڈ اف actually Urdu. They use more Urdu words than him. But technically it is called. After writing a story, the writer edits. Do you take feedback from other writers? Of course, that is very important. Because you, uh, as a parent, one person cannot find for ten kids or her kids or children. A book is like a new kid. You must show it to someone. Keep watching for this episode. It's a pretty new one. And there are other things. Other writers in India. See, whatever I think is correct. And many things I rejected. Doesn't mean someone is saying that you are obliged to teach it. But you feel that this feedback is helpful or is pointing out something important. And in the second note, on the basis of the show feedback, I, my wife made me escape the uh, entire part. One character is deleted from the entire part. My wife told me this is unnecessary, it is not helping in the story. Slowing down the pace, and before uh, they had uh, told me to make changes in the character, the main character. So his personality went through a total transformation because of Professor Kishore's life. So it helps. You need friends, like a friend. But be, uh, be, aware of, be aware of those critics who try to kill you. There are two kind of dangerous critics. One is Your writing is great. He will not spend time reading your manuscript and simply say, Boss, your writing is great. It shines. It is better than Adam Gatiraya and it is like you have become a sermon. It is something like that. Like a superlatives they will use and make you happy. These kind of critics are very, very great. And there is another thing. You will make you feel much better. So these two critics you should avoid. The best critic is that you will find both good things and bad things in your story and give you constructive things. You work there, you change things. So you will have to try. There are some of you can be moving around. You will say, well, good is stress, throw it away, nothing is there, and you will find a long list of mistakes and shocking. It happened with my book. Some of the very severe editors that I took from you, they throw it out, right next to it. For example, the editor told me, delete all the old people. Now I get feedback from many editors, even from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka comedians like my story. We were not able to understand the Urdu, but still, the Tamil translation of poetry they love. And they told me that you use poetry in your next novel also. That editor guy was telling me that you delete all that. So, we have to know whatever feedback, criticism you give, how do you feel? You don't get upset, you don't get many appeals, and it is telling you are correct. It is also a public critic. So three kind of critic. One is who will say you are great, one will say you are good for nothing. 
we know these two critics. In between, there will be genuine critics who will point out the mistake and give you the good. What? If you, you are not happy with them, right? Because it is your baby. If you feel this stress suits your baby, then that's fine. If someone is new in jeans, you buy a jeans for you to you feel you can work on the baby, then they So you are the best. You should love it. The mirrors will come. If you don't love your mistake, nobody will stay. So don't make a plastic thing because some people come and some people don't stay. Thank you. Why did you glorify a gangster like Gagandev and at the same time you portray the Babzi Masjid issue also? On one side, Hindus are attacking by Muslims and on the other side, a Hindu gangster protecting Muslim couples. No, actually that character is inspired by the real So in that case, they are used to be a real Gadar and he was a very useful man. And he was a Dakat. He used to go people. But he would uh, go to the Bali beach and he used to go to the food game and then distribute half of the money to the poor people. So he was protected by the poor and the labor. Uh, Lower people, people from the more stuff of society. So that is how he was surviving. Kind of loving him, you can say. So that is actually inspired by the real. Babaji Masjid was a big issue in Nandu. It impacted our life. In Bihar, nothing uh, much happened. Babaji Masjid was chief minister and he was very strict about the communal rights. So he was able to keep Bihar peaceful. But some places, some small incidents. And you will see the in that my novel. Initially, Muslim sects who were in the or that is Muslim women, etc. So those Hindus were actually minority in that village. So this is how the works. If you are a minority, you have to treat very carefully, don't pull hard, majority, keep yourself safe. This Gangsters like Gagandev are still in Bihar? No, no, no. No, no, it was 17 of this time. You are the unique person. They used to be lonely in some ways. But now it is not. It's still said change in the people who don't keep them up there. They don't keep them up there. So now things are changed. Do you encounter any realistic experiences like that? Hello. Hello. Ah, yes, now it's okay. You hold that mic near you. So it happened in my maternal uncle's village. There was a wedding in the family and there, there was no interaction. The neighbors are coming. The people who are bathing with the arms, children and the children. And we uh, kept the vision through the night with a big torch and the lantern that because at the time of wedding, this kind of attack used to They come to your family. In some good family, wedding is happening, so they know there will be gold and jewelry. It is a traditional Indian wedding, so there is a lot of gold given there. So I think it is a good time to come in there. So people used to get it. If nothing happened, we did not. Uh, sleep there. there are a group of young people with the gun, protecting villages. That was not the same. In the electric experience, there was kind of fear. Evil society gave birth to ruffians like Gatende. Can you substantiate your opinion? Okay. Evil society, girl, but do you think that evil in society leads to uh, such characters? 
coming up in the novel? I don't know exactly, but uh, there are people who use this technique to further their personal interests. There are many criminals who will become a Robin Hood. Uh, but the fact is that he is committing a crime. He is not earning money to help. He is looting from other people and keeping a major chunk to himself. So if he looks from someone and then give it to him, that is not the kind of work. So it is a kind of technique also. We are exercising. Because people respect him and then he is protected by the village man and poor people. So we are making money for some months ahead. We are making money for a temple building or poor people will say, Jai Ho Jai Ho. And then he can, he can continue with that. Because nobody will forget with the police to give him the information. And our society is unjust, of course. Such kind of characters may be most in most cases I think they use as a PR exercise. These criminals use that as a PR exercise so that they are protected by the downtrodden of the society and to be safe. And that is how that is how he evaded arrest. Finally he was never arrested. And nobody knows how he really looks like. <laughs> So there are kind of legends and stories floating around the whole internet. You are very important. You will never touch a human. Okay, sir. So now. Actually, here I would like to mention some uh, Sisli. Sisli is a place in Turkey, uh, in all of you know. So, uh, Mario Fujo, most of the novels are um, set, in, set in Italy and America. So, in Sydney, there used to be the kidnappers, professional kidnappers. So they will kidnap the rich people or the noblemen and they will treat them so well, there was the unwritten code of conduct that if you kidnap someone for ransom, you will give full risk. For example, uh, those kidnappers, if they kidnap uh, some this person, and that this person uh, slap that kidnapper, he will say nothing. He will just bend and say, sorry sir, I have troubled you. And then they will ask for the ransom as per his worth. If he is worth 10 crore, they will ask ransom for 20 crore. So it will be that for him. So he will easily give the ransom. And he will provide all the facility if he need book or medicine something. He will provide everything. So at the end of the day, when that person is released by those kidnappers, they will not harm. That person, that person who was kidnapped will not file a case. No, no, they treated me so well. They treated me like a king. So that kind of mindset also works there. So they at least a certain section of society, give them money and help them. And then uh, they loot a few cells. The number of rich people are very few. So most people are middle class, indifferent, and a middle class. I am not being impacted, so I don't know. And lower class is happy because he's getting money, he's getting help. So he becomes a kind of middle class. So this kind of concept. Is the novel semi-autobiographical? No. Some of the elements are, because this is a question I have been asked frequently to ask for. People presume that someone is writing a radio novel that is But in other sense, it is inspired by the real places. Some of the characters might be inspired by them. But the story is pigment of totally my pigment of imagination. And characters are made. Might I, I might have taken some qualities from some of these characters. But it is just a bit of it. Not like that. It is totally some of this. You can say 80% fiction, 20% fiction. But it is not my story. <laughs> During the writing process, do you plan the whole novel or let the story come to you? 
actually in that matter i am gifted ki once i think of a story everything comes at it when i think of a idea or concept first will come the end of the story where it is yeah. going to and then beginning then i feel in the end so generally i have a whole story almost 70 80% story in my mind sometimes i point it uh, i mention in my mind with one voice kind of guru feel create the character script and then i start so you can say 70 to 80% is already in my mind 20% i improvise and once the first draft is done then i look at From um, creative point of view, then we check which character the story is. But mostly, when I think of a story, I think of it. Then, what inspired the character of Arif Khan, and how much of Abdullah Khan is there in Arif? Mm, Arif is a fictional character because, firstly, I have been obsessed about uh, IS. Yes, I appear for most of the Ali boys will appear for the Ali season because there is a parental pressure here to so my father wanted me to join Ali this I appear for the young but I did not get selected so it is inspired by a bit of you can say the moral values of Ali is similar that is what You want to see me in that? The kind of moral value that Arif has is similar to that. So Arif thinks in the way I might have thought in those fictional situations. Otherwise, Arif is a character, imaginative, imaginative character. But you will find so many Arif people. There are so many young boys and girls. Uh, with the big dreams to join Indian Army Service and getting in this scene, so those middle class boys trying very very hard and they are disparate, and of course everyone is not going to this. Bit of Hari is so many Bihari boys are in Hari. Hari is not a, a single character. It's kind of representation of. Middle class or lower middle class, typical middle class people. Moti Hari help you to shape as you as a writer to achieve your dreams. Father, Moti Hari, Moti Hari. Actually. Actually, while I, I was growing up, I never visited Mukhtar. Never visited when I was in college. So that time I came to know about the organ. That was the influence. Mukhtar as a city might not have contributed because I never lived there. Uh, my village is around 50 kilometers from Mukhtar. We have a different route to go to Patna. I visited Mutiari only at the age of 21 or 22. But when I discovered that Mutiari is so much of history, because Gandhi did experiment with Satyagraha from Mutiari, Champaran. Mutiari is actually district Champaran at Portland. A so lot of history. Orwell was born there, and there are so many things. So that inspired me. In second novel, for so second novel, it's called. A man from Mutihari, a guy who lives in Mutihari, and how? Hello. Why Hello. did you write in English instead of Hindi? Why should I write in Hindi? You tell me. Why should I write in Hindi? <laughs> You must have some basis to ask me this question. Why? Why should I write it? 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 Why should I write it?
beginning. You frame question, then you must have something in mind. You know, tell me, no? whatever is in your mind, please. There might be some presumption. Hmm? Because there the answer is hidden, that is why I am requesting you to tell me. Tell me, please. Don't, don't hesitate here. This is a friendly interaction. I have been asked this question many times. Some people say, why don't you write in it? Some say, why don't you write in it? Tell me. When you frame question, you must have thought something. Let's make it interactive. Boring, yes, what was the intention? Intention behind asking this question, ah, that's what. What information? If you don't, if you meet some Italian, you will not ask him that why don't they like him? If you, you don't ask to show that why don't they like him? So there must be some basis, na? some presumption, some information. Tell me. Shri Lakshmi, tell me. Don't be I think maybe because why you did not write in your region language and why write in a foreign language? That's maybe the intention. Is Kishore right? Hmm? Well, yeah, no? Tell me. I will hesitate. Sri Lakshmi, give, give the answer, Sri Lakshmi. Arya, can you guess? Yeah. Yes, Lakshmi. Uh, Sri Rashmi, you give the answer why you ask this question. That is, why the writer did not write in Hindi, but he uh, preferred English. What is the reason? So, why, why did you ask that question? That's why. That's what the, the writer is asking. When you frame some question, you have a kind of uh, information, some redemption, some background, then you frame a question. Yes? Hmm? No, no, you, you tell whether you want to know whether you, you, you intend to ask Abdullah why he did not write in Hindi. Okay. Why select English? That is the intention, I think. Is that right? Yes, sir. Um, I think uh, as a writer, mm. you, uh, you have to write in your mother like a mother tongue language. Uh, that is, the, you have come <laughs> to so just to uh, this is a big misinformation all over the India that the Hindi is mother tongue of Biharis. No Bihari has Hindi as a mother. You just know this. No. Even in the UP, there is no Hindi mother. It's a kind of propaganda and kind of things that Hindi supporters have uh, sold to the North Indian, the Bihari. Bihari has, Biharis have more than five languages. One is Bhospuri, widely spoken, more than Malayalam. <laughs> There are five crore speakers of Bhojpuri language. And around the, and there are Maitri languages. There is Angika, Bajika, Santhali, and many languages. But this four, four major languages, five major. Angika, Bajika, Bhojpuri, Maitri, and Magi. These are the languages spoken. So, my mother tongue is not. My mother tongue is a mix of Bhojpuri and Bajika. What my mother used to speak, my grandma used to speak. That is the mother tongue. It is not that you come on the interview and then talk in Hindi that you don't say. So Biharis do not have Hindi has mother tongue. So that is why they make mockery of Bihari accent. Because that is influenced by the So in mother tongue, that accent is okay. For example, you are speaking Malayalam, that accent is fine. But if it comes into English, then it becomes a part of the same way with the eyes. So my mother tongue was not. But Jika, 
mix with Bhojpuri with Pajika flavor, three language combines, mix of it. So I grew up speaking this language also. Then when I shifted to city, so this is a trend that city people have started moving to or move to whatever city. So some people say we can say both are same language and basically they speak the kind of language which is in between. So I studied initially I studied in Urdu Muki. So there is no much to give medium or nothing medium. That is unfortunate. These are the biggest languages of the state. And Bhojpuri is at least 700 years older than him, but still it is not. So I thought of writing Urdu or Hindi initially, to be honest, because I studied in Urdu medium school, then in Hindi medium school. And I tried also. So I went to a Hindi newspaper with an article and that guy threw me. Then I happened to meet a Malayali guy in Patna. He used to live in Patna, Daniel Thomas. Now he, he lives in Patna. His father was posted in Patna, so he did his master from Patna University and joined Hindustan. So when I was rejected by the Hindu newspaper, I translated the same article into English and went to the Hindustan Times office. And this guy, Daniel Thomas, he looks like Mamu. He's a bit shorter. He looks like a very nice looking guy. So I went to this his office and he was kind enough to publish my first book. And that how I started. I owe my career. In fact, in the first person I thanked is Daniel Thomas in my book. You must have noticed. Acknowledgement says. I have mentioned Daniel Thomas. So this Mariali guy. So my relationship with Mariali guy is very old. So my career. Uh, started with this Malayali guy called Daniel Thomas living in the play. And then when he was the feature editor, I used to frequently write. So that is how I started. Then I got it in this. But uh, it is true that uh, since childhood, even I was studying in the Hindi medium, I wanted to write in English because I wanted to reach out to a wider world outside India. So if you write in Hindi, you will be limited to North India. If you write in English, it will go to all over India, even outside India. To reach, to reach the global audience, and it, it is not possible to write in Hindi. Because there is no audience, there is no leadership, there are no publishers. So I can't write in Bhojpuri and Bhajika. So that is why I decided that I should not write in some language. Which is at least understood by half of the world. Sir, even the sincere officer like Arif's father suffers a lot in his retirement days and never gets any kind of consideration, even from authority. In this context, what will be the attitude of society towards the common people? Our society is full of contradictions and the one, uh, on the one side we worship Rama, the epitome of virtue and truthful, but in real life we follow Kansa and all the demonic characters. So it happens, if you are in power, whether you are good or bad, people will worship you. Are not in power and you are trying to do the right thing, but you are harming someone's interest, then people will respond to the So This is part of our system. Corruption is deeply embedded. At times, you don't know. People like us also who get directly or indirectly involved in this. So, my father was a very and not he was discriminated in the same way as the people but at times he had to fight. He had to fight with it. Because the people who try to take bribe in the office and they will buy things and take action with it, then the people become more. So at times it happens. But my father never remembered always if something is 
direct something is very good and he used to get uh, support from good people he was a senior officer he was very very honest those people used to support him so partly that character is inspired by him and uh, other events are taken from somewhere or you know, the figment of my imagination and the creative you know, thing comes from So I believe in the police comment. I have seen many good people, many black people flourish. So this is uh, truth of us. We must remember that Ram was sent for the Balkans, not the Nawab Nawab. We are not the Sindhavas caste, not any wrong person or any evil person. So always good people have to be protected and not to be punished. Sindhavas people are not punished. Good people have to be accepted. It is their personal problem. And you have to pay the fees. In the novel, you incorporated themes like love, politics, history, conflict, etc. Can you explain what made you match these topics together? It kind of, because because our life we look at personal life and individuals are not that uh, mix of everything. Any individual, I mean, I put a fictional character, real character, take any example. So we all are impacted by all these elements. So whenever you are doing a realistic life, everything comes in. It is not planned. It is organically go into the story. And that is how they create a realistic world. Otherwise, it will sign fake or later. Because real characters feel good, bad, and good. So that is how the all the things. But the focus is on moral dilemma, Ahit and his struggle to live. The core is there. This this elements are required. And make the character down there. Make the world around the character interesting. Any other questions? Is it over? Many writers with very powerful woman characters like Sumitra. How far you can can you depict a female character accurately? Uh. Actually, I always fear. Never write about the female character. Actually, my third novel has a major female character. So, I wrote on Facebook. One well-known South African author, female character. She wrote that female character. She told me, "Don't think that had that character as a female. When you write a male character, you don't think him as a male character. You think of a human. So, think of a female character." Human being with some limitation because society is in our society of a in such a obvious obviously men get many privileges many facilities which women are not allowed. So keep in mind that this this is a species of human being with same feeling same emotion same kind of uh, one out there with Some limitations, like a girl, a girl cannot move as freely as a boy, even in the U.S. and so those uh, those limitations. Plus, think of women characters. So I, whenever I I try to write a novel about women characters, I don't I don't claim that I am doing it accurately, but I try to think of them. And then there is my wife. I, Ask her to do that. She can do that. She she feels it's something. I don't know. But in the first novel, Sumitra's uh, Sumitra is not in the record. It is told from other point. So that my job was easy and I can escape easily. Telling that this is other point. The Sumitra is never in the record. 
the events like assassination of Indira Gandhi, its impacts, destruction of badly masjid, etc., is a part of the novel. How relevant are the strength and the plot? Actually, uh, whenever you are writing a fiction, you set those uh, stories in a time to These major events give you a kind of uh, milestone, a kind of indicator that the story is and uh, through those events, you are able to understand your character also. How this character is reactive to this kind of thing. For example, when something happens in this delay, uh, people are, are planning to demolish a temple. So how are it gets? They are not in favor of taking revenge for something which happened thousands of miles away. So it shows his compassionate and human side. Same way, in 1984, uh, he feels uh, sorry for the Sikhs. So he's a kind-hearted person and he reacts to the situation. He sends it to the author. So those events are kind of uh, a mirror. Uh, it defines your life. If some violence is happening, some character is involved. And you know this kind, this person is a specific But some person is feeling sorry for something. Which has happened somewhere. And that means this person is very kind and compassionate. So it defines your life. And gives uh, authenticity to your plot also. If something is happening in 92 and Babu is not there, that means you are avoiding it. Something will happen. It does not mean that the right should happen. But there is some discussion something that. So same same technique will be used by your individual You see, the identity has been She has done that in very detail, I have not done that. But indirectly, it reverberates in the state. And I don't shy away from it. Many people think that I have like to make it. No, they just keep Okay, ask the last two questions and conclude the interview. Yes, sir. Who is your favorite writer? I told you, I am not going to say that 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 What is your message to the upcoming writers? Keep reading and keep writing. So whenever you write a story, write a book, you are trying to be, you must be living in the opposite of the you and read a variety of books. Even if you are planning to write a picture in So we read writing books, even modern history, serial, not many, but at least a few. So you have a sense because every Dunda has its own style, its own technique. So you must be a reader. So read a book as a reader, then read as a writer. So what do I mean by writer is first time whenever you read a good book, you enjoy it, you try to understand it, you take interest in the characters. When you read the book, we try to understand how the writer is getting his story, how the story is going, how it is going, and how it is progressing from one story to another. How it is. Then, third thing, you take a note of it. Try to. 
So they start with the beginning, some start with the beginning, some start with the beginning. Because the character is already dead. dead. And then the narrator is telling you what you can do how that person dies. So first time you read, I did that, then you die, second time. You understand? Third time you do the question. Why this people die? How this people is dead? How many months uh, or how many adjectives? And there are some unwritten books you should so, try to write as many as action oriented sentences. Try to avoid as many adjectives and adverbs as possible. And make every chapter as an independent book. Writing a chapter or chapter one book, different sentences, every single book, mini book, mini book, same book. This Should be used, unnecessary dialogue should not be done. How are you? When you can switch to me. Sometimes it's going to be a decision. Why I don't trust this? Background information you should not throw in one go. For example, you are writing about the country. His dog, his handsome, his idea is very good. Give the information in bits and pieces and direct. For example, in your dream house, so he has to duck to avoid the uh, door. Ceiling is low, so he has to duck. So that is how it becomes created. And he is angry in the and he should not like that. He is moving his hand, waving his hand, he has a big thing with the cable trying to show a reader a movie. You are not telling a story. Telling a story is a different part. Telling a story, you are showing a story. Whenever you are reading, the image is coming out. This, this my character has long gestures. I don't know why I don't know if something is the basis. Please let me know. I don't know. Once he is connected to the world, then he will provide some information and information on the world. Except for that thing, he can do something like that. He can do something like that. And at times, when this nonsense is here, but some stranger, someone comes to you and is not in the world. Then you will know, and you will say so. Introduce your character in a very interesting way to your people. Once your readers become a good friend of your character, then he will follow them. Even if he is doing nothing, he will tell you what is bad and your readers will do. But once he gets to know that, 
and there might be some injury to some of the people. Even a villain. So, there is one hour in the world. I know it is right here. questions i have a doubt that uh, why you introduce the character maya banners uh maya banners they were the chilly side character and so there is no more details about maya banners and where the um, where is akir no exactly is there any continuation to any readers were writing to write this 
Initially, I thought of writing. I love my environment. So that is a kind of mystery. So it will self-conscious. In future, it will be a mystery. I have an empty, I did not expect that anyone would care about my life. Before only many people ask me, why would you tell the story? What is it? How is it? I am a man, a man, a man, a man, a man, a man, a man. What was that? Basic idea is that I am a man, a man, a man, a man, a man. So actually I was writing second novel on the kind of Sri Lankan connection in Pakistan. It had a step by the Sri Lankan connection. Who were having the Kerala and the KG. You know the KG. You know KG. It is KG. Kerala and the KG. Kerala Gaja Pujetja will buy the Sri Lankan from the Yuana Pujetja Sri Lankan from the Sri Lankan. This case is my name for this one. I will let you know. Kerala gets the point of the case. Kerala Gaja. So some of them come from the Sri Lankan. Some come from the North India. This is mostly smuggled by the speed of the North. So Kerala is getting bad news. I try to make a story about Laki getting a stage by unknowingly and harassment. Anyhow, it is a good thing. But there are a lot of thought in this. And a few Sri Lankan leaders, especially in Jamna area. Jamna area, the Tamil Vatan is sold there. One guy who continuously follows me, asking me, sir, when next? I discussed with the story, briefly, and he, he read it. He told me, sir, it is not sound. Which is something comes to me now. Deepa, what are your feedback about the book? And so on and so on. When I read the book, I know the second year. Hello, Vice. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yes, so now you are speaking something. Hello. Sir, uh, it was interested uh, for me in the brotherly love between Arif and Sakir. Many people in this brotherly love and I am happy to have you there. And what are the shortcomings? Where I should be? There must be some idea of the most of you. I should have. Sorry, sir, just not clear. Uh, you uh, you uh, uh, is asking whether there are any shortcomings. Means, that means if uh, if some uh, parts in some the parts the novel is not good. Then I can include in next. Ah, you can uh, openly. You can uh, openly tell uh, because uh, it will help. Uh, it will help Abdullah. Uh, 
last word in the the discussion where fakir was this is the i had this experience that uh, one guy has given me one rating for this one this book is very good i would have given five star but because you just declined us of detail about the sakis my given me one star here yeah, written on pictures <laughs> so thank you thank you nice interaction with you thanks for reading my book taking the time to tell me questions in this really interesting and insightful for me also i hope from next book i will try to improve if possible please write some short review on the book please Even if it's uh, negative review, we can still do it. But we will keep it simple. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Kishor. Thank you, thank you, Abdullah. Take care. All the best. And if you need any creative, any. Please feel free. Please feel free. Please feel free.